Hi guys, I'm Jorena, and this video is about NCLEX RN uh, BON application for the state of Texas. So, sa mga nakapanood po ng first video, welcome back. At sa mga bago po, hello. Uh, this is a step one of the NCLEX RN application. Just type po, uh, hindi ko makita yung part. And, go to their website. This is their official website. So, lahat po ng information, questions niyo po, nandito po sa website. If you take time to browse and read, nandito po lahat. Uh, forms, go to graduates and NCLEX examination. And uh, RN graduates application by NCLEX RN examination for registered nurses. This one. Just click, and this is the form that you need. You can print all these forms, and if you have time, you can read all of this. Konti lang naman po siya. So, ang pinaka importante po dito ang first three pages. One, two, and this page number three. Kasi ito po yung kailangan natin para sa application, to start the application. So guys, uh, mafi-fill in na tayo. Actually, PDF ready na siya. So, before nyo siya i-print, mas maganda na i-fill in na yung data. Ako, mas preferred ko na naka-caps lock para mas kitang-kita nila. Then, middle name. Just fill in all the data, address, city, state or country, Philippines, uh, postal code po ninyo or zip code ng city, then email address, then your phone number. Since nasa Pinas po is 631, then 9, something like that. Kayo na bahala. Then, uh, US Social Security number, just leave it blank. Then, for date of birth, month muna. So, kanwari birthday ko muna. Dapat po mag-umpisa po siya sa month. Then, sa so, ito pong mga nakabox, iti-check nyo lang po yan. Siyempre, Asian po tayo. Then, name of basic or in uh, school attended. So, lagay nyo lang dito yung name ng school nyo, university, kumpituhin nyo lang po. Then, entry date. So, what I put is June 2005. And, graduation date is March. Kasi, hinihingi lang naman year. Hindi naman specific yung date talaga. 2009. Ito pong NCSBN program code. Just leave it blank. Then, address po ng school ninyo. Davao City, Davao del Norte, Philippines. Then, dito po sa type of uh, basic or education program, check yun lang po. Kasi sa Philippines, lahat naman tayo bachelor degree kasi 4 years. Pero pag may master's po kayo, master's degree. Okay guys. Let's start sa section B. Napakadali lang po ito. Babasahin nyo lang din ito. Check nyo. Have you ever taken an NCLEX exam before? Say no. Pag nag-yes kayo, kailangan nyo indicate dito saan. Pero ito sa mga ano lang to, mag retake Have you ever been granted authority to practice nursing in any country, state, province? Yes, sa Philippines. Have you used... Any authority granted to practice nursing? Yes. Then, ilagay niyo po dito Philippines. Kasi lahat po tayo may Philippine license. Then, last practice niyo po. Pwede niyo po ilagay current month. Or kung kailan kayo last nag-practice ng license niyo. Number four, have you practiced nursing by using your nursing skills? Cool abilities in past four years. So, check in lang po yung... Okay, okay. So, section C na tayo. Ito yung eligibility questions about um, kung may mga records kayo, kung meron kayong mga kaso, felony, 
uh, drug records, alcohol records. So, you need to answer it honestly. So, basahin nyo lang. Then, click no. Pag wala naman. And, number two, um, subject to grand jury or governmental agency investigation. Has any licensing authority refused or revoke or um, revoke my license? And then, in past five years, have you been diagnosed or treated or hospitalized with schizophrenia or psycho uh, psychotic disorders, bipolar? And number five, within past five years, have you been addicted to alcohol or any other drugs? Okay, and when you print this form, don't forget to put your signature in here. Yung date, pwede nyo na lang din ilagay yung date. Unahin nyo po yung month. Una po lagi yung month, ha? And then dito, type na lang yung name nyo. Kung napapansin nyo, lumiit siya, okay lang yan. So guys, nasa section D na tayo, Nurse Compact Declaration. Uh, dito, i-declare po natin na yung state po natin is na, na it, it, it take is Texas. Kasi marami pong, ang Texas po kasi member po siya ng compact state. For compact state, ibang discussion na lang po yun kasi mahabang usapan po siya. But it means, pwede ka pag, uh, so sa second box po tayo, uh, ilagay po natin dito, State of Texas. Then, dito po sa number 2, upon licensure in Texas, which state do you intend to practice and, uh, to practice electronically, telephonically, physically, Texas po lahat dito ilagay niyo. Pwede niyo po, uh, pwede po naka caps lock din po. Lakihan na lang natin. Ano, sa ganda. Kung ayaw po mag, mag ano dito ng date, hayaan nyo siya. Pwede naman isulat. Kasi pipirmahan nyo naman na dito. Guys, uh, pag ipapasa nyo na itong first three pages, huwag nyo pong kalimutan yung signature nyo po dito. Applicant signature, applicant signature dito, applicant signature. So guys, after yung ma-print yung application na na-fill in nyo na ng data nyo, uh, first three pages, huwag niyo po kalimutang mag-sign sa applicant signature. Marami pong nakakalimot dito. Dito po siya sa end. Actually, three pages po siya na kailangan i-sign. Once na-sign niyo na, nakompleto na to, uh, ilagay niyo po sa envelope with bank draft and in-email niyo po sa Texas BON. So guys, bank draft worth $100. Kung nasa Pilipinas po kayo, pwede po kayo magpagawa sa BPI or Land Bank kahit wala po kayong dollar account, gumagawa po sila. Huwag po kayo magtataka kung, baka, kung yung iba nagtatanong, hindi yung pangalan nila nasa, nasa bank draft. Okay lang po yun. Dapat talaga nakapangalan yun sa Texas BUN. Then, yung bank draft na yun, ibibigay nila sa'yo, i-attach mo ito sa application mo, lalagay mo sa envelope, and ipapadala mo po ba yung mail. So, kayo na mamimili FedEx LBC, DHL, DHL, kayo na pumunit doon. After nyo mapadala yung application nyo, matatrack nyo naman kung nareceive na nila. Pag nakita nyo nareceive na nila yung application nyo, uh, give BON 9 days. Then, after 9 days, go to their website, then check your application status. Same lang po, punta po kayo sa website nila, check application status, and then put your name, your last name, your birthday, then, uh, click the RN and flex. Then, makikita niyo po yung details niyo doon. Makikita niyo po sa example, uh, pag nakared po, ibig sabihin, hindi niyo pa nakakomply yun. Pag hindi na siya nakared, means okay na, na-receive na nila yung requirement na yun, and nakalagay yung date of completion. Mapapansin niyo po, sa verification of license, may date sa gilid. Kasi, ang validation of license po is may expiration. One year lang po siya. And this one, guys, BON application also expires. You have one year to take exam.
So, pag if ever na delay, may nangyari na delay kayo, um, hindi kayo nakapag-exam within a year, don't worry. Do the same process. Refill in po yung 3 pages ulit. And magbabayad po ulit kayo ng $100 through bank draft ko. So, same process lang. Guys, take note. View an application and validation of license, one year po sila. So, pag hindi kayo nakapag-exam, which is, I encourage you to take exam for a year, kasi uulitin nyo siya. Kung hindi man talaga na-delay talaga kayo, uulitin nyo lang. Wala namang problema. Yung mga records yun, yung jurisprudence exam, criminal background check, CES, kikiri pa rin yun. Additional lang guys, kasi marami nagtatanong kung kailangan ba, okay lang ba mag-take ng exam without experience. Actually, uh, Texas and Clex, they don't need experience. Kahit fresh graduate, pwede po kayong mag-take ng exam. But, sa iba po, sa, sa mga kaibigan ko, di ba, dito po may date of graduation. Sabi nila, if more than 5 years or more than 10 years ka na nurse from date of graduation, nangihini sila ng employment certificate. And ito pa guys, uh, nakalagay dito, uh, country, kung saan kayo nag-practice ng license. Uh, i-declare nyo yung license, UPRC, or kung nag-trabaho ka sa ibang bansa, i-declare nyo rin. So, yung iba po, uh, hindi nila din-declare yung had license nila. And then, more than 15 years na silang go-matrate. So, hiningan sila ngayon ng um, employment certificate just to prove that they've been practicing nurses. So, ngayon, nagpasa sila ng um, employment certificate and it's from Abu Dhabi. So, they're asking so, you have a license in Abu Dhabi. So, I know it will delay the process pag i-declare nyo yung license nyo, uh, international license, but it's much safer. Like, must safe siya. Kasi malalaman din naman nila. Uh, especially if more than 10 years or 15 years ka nang gumagay. That's all guys. Sana may nakuha kayo or may nalaroon kayo. Thank you.